why. He thinks he like rules the house, you know? We are actually on our way to uh, my parents here in a minute. We're gonna be getting ready. Um, he's starting to wake up. You guys haven't seen Marshall. The dude's growing quick. He's put on like two pounds already. Here's what we did in yesterday's video. We got this all organized and ready. There's gonna be a lot more stuff showing up soon. Probably some actually today. But yeah, we got all these shirts and hoodies, all this stuff. Who else likes these koozies? This one's actually kind of bent. Oops. We'll kind of we'll separate that one out. But anyways, these are these are actually becoming one of our top sellers actually on the store right now. Other than these, these have been top sellers for like ever. And these are starting to get pretty popular too. We saw a lot of those ones. Posters. These were on the store. I put them on the store this morning, but they're probably already sold. We just had two extra large Rocky Top hoodies plus one large one. I think those are both sold. Most of these gray ones are actually sold as well. We just haven't gotten those ones shipped out yet. The yard is almost cleaned up now. Got my brother here cleaning up all the branches and stuff that I cut up yesterday. Looking better. Yeah, as soon as we get one of the whistling diesel trucks, which we are picking one up in a couple days, as soon as that happens, this truck is going to the paint booth to get the hood repainted, the doors repainted, and uh, I think the fenders, a couple other things. Listen to how fast this thing starts up. And it's been sitting here for like three days. I know it's warm out, but I mean, it just starts super, super quick. The paint is all getting fixed on this truck. I know that there were some people that were kind of like, oh man, you're giving away a truck, it's got paint chips on. It's like, dude, if you realize how hard it was to find these trucks up here around me, you would not be complaining about the paint chips. Not to mention, I said, as soon as I picked up the truck, the first video I said, we are fixing the paint chips on the truck. Don't worry about it. It won't have any paint chips when you get it. I'm gonna hook up the car hauler, get the mower loaded up, and then we're going to be Getting over to the land, I'm gonna be doing some mowing and then where you might take the OBS Ford uh, off-road just a little bit. And I, I do want to officially test the four-wheel drive because I have not tested. I was going to do it that one day and then it started pouring rain and my camera was sitting outside and I was like, I'm gonna grab my camera. We're gonna have to conduct this experiment another time. Uh, so that's what we're gonna try to do once we get back. Hats are back. So for everybody, like I said in the previous video, we did just restock on a bunch of cap so if you want one we have plenty right now but we had just as many available the first week of the giveaway and they literally all sold out if you want to grab one grab one because usually at the end of the giveaway everybody starts to decide ah oh, it's last minute i guess i'll enter and then stuff's really going to go fast so if you want something definitely don't hesitate and grab it also these are a new release just went out two days so if you want one of these they just went out today they're called the hunter it's a richardson 112 with that military green it's just a great hat for the outdoorsman, um, somebody who doesn't want something too bright and flashy out in the woods. Definitely go check them out, grab one while you can. Well, just thought I'd get a little bit of mowing done. This was getting a little bit out of hand. I cut it at four inches and it's still freaking just piles of clippings everywhere. I want to test the four-wheel drive on this truck because I haven't yet. Um, I do have a starter up. That way we can get the buzzer to go away. I do have an Allen set on me just in case I need to use it to take the caps off the forces to lock up the hubs if need be. So we are going to get on back on the trail here and just see if we can find a good spot to test out this four-wheel drive. So we're going to take a little drive down here to the creek crossing here. And this creek crossing, you don't need four-wheel drive to get across it. The only point of going down here right now is just to see if we can make sure that the 4x4 works. So let me actually get this window down so I can see my wheels. So if you look now, you can see that the rear tire will spin if I hit it. Right, it's just spinning. I did that on purpose, by the way. The front, obviously, you can see and the, the lighting gets in. If I give it some throttle, the back is spinning. No, it's not. Okay. 
now how we're gonna test to make sure this works is just gonna make sure this is as easy as it says and according to the shifter that's four high it says four by four right there so let's see what happens neutral let me go in reverse here for a second okay now let's put it in drive So far, when I put it in four high, um, this tire's still not spinning. That one is. Now, ordinarily, I think for the most part, it would be like the opposite front one spinning, but maybe not. It feels like it's engaged now, because the back one's not spinning so much. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to make this as legitimate as possible. So the back one, as you can see, it's sitting on a slick spot. It kept spinning. Every time I'd give it throttle, it would just kind of slip because I, I spun it out a few times on purpose to make that spot more slick. Um, but let's see when I just give it throttle, we go up the hill, if it keeps spinning out. See, it's not spinning out anymore. Now, the truck is actually grabbing and pulling up the hill from the front, you can feel it in the front grabbing, and it's not letting the rear end spin out so much because the power is being more evenly distributed out to the front wheels as well. And I mean, it just climbed right up, so. I guess it works, I mean, I had to rock it back and forth a little bit, it seemed like, to really get it to lock in, but it worked. So that's something that I wanted to experiment with. I wanted to make sure the four-wheel drive worked on this thing. I don't I don't see why it wouldn't work. You just never know. With these old trucks, over the years, you have no idea what could have happened. Something could have gone a little funky or haywire with the four-wheel drive system, and it could have made it not function properly. I'm just going to turn around up here, though, and head on back towards the barn. I want to tell you something. This truck has gotten more hate than any other truck, hands down. And this is something that's just true, and it has always been true. It'll always be true. You won't see somebody with a nicer pickup truck hating on your pickup truck. And you want to know why that is? Because they understand and respect other people's taste. Now, I did not build this truck. When I bought this truck, it had the lift on it. It had the wheels and tires on it. But the point is, I like this truck. And if I see your truck going down the road, I don't care if it's rusted out, I don't care if it's an S10, a Ranger, a big heavy duty diesel, brand new truck, I'm not gonna go in the comment section under your post. If you're proud of it, I'm not gonna go, oh man, your truck looks stupid. You should upgrade and get a freaking diesel like me. Like, it doesn't matter to me. I've got what I like. You should be able to like what you like. That's just the way it should be. I feel like there's too many people in the truck and car community that they're so wrapped up in comparing their taste and their opinions to everybody else and it's just stupid and this is what i always tell people i say hey you know what feelings aren't facts unless you're a democrat that's the only time you can get away with it I don't know how many of you guys I told other than some random comments throughout social media, but Reagan and I did get accepted to buy that property that we looked at, and I'm, pr I'm so excited, guys. I'm so stoked. I really hope everything goes smooth. It's not a property that I want to pay cash for just because I'm paying cash for so many other things right now, like the whistling diesel trucks, inventory for our business, which is something we're doing for the first time so we can ship stuff out so much faster than it used to be. Again, for everybody waiting on stuff that was ordered before August 3rd, you still are gonna have to wait for it to be shipped by the previous vendor that used to do our stuff. But anything from August 3rd forward, that's stuff that we can handle that we ship. But anyways, all that being said, I don't wanna pay cash for it just because I've got so much money wrapped up in other stuff. So as long as the financing stuff goes through and the bank approves the land and they're like, you know what, it's worth this amount, we're gonna go for it, you're good to go. Unless for some reason they say no, we should be getting this property, which gets me thinking. It's got a super big river, not like this little river, I'm talking like a river river, and I would just love to have a mud toy 
that I can get down in and out of that river, take it back home, like something that's daily drivable, like it could be daily drivable if you really wanted to. I'm not saying I would, but it, it could be. But at the same sense, I could take it through that property, down the trails, beat the tar out of it and I don't care, take it down in the river, use it to haul deer out of there, stuff like that. What do you guys think? Do you want to see a mud toy specific for that property? Yes or no? I'm also thinking about putting the wheels and tires that are on the first gen, I'm thinking about putting a set of stocks on that truck, like the fourth gen stocks that came off of Reagan's uh, DB build when we had that truck. Thinking about taking those stocks, putting them on the first gen, my blue first gen, and then putting those wheels and tires, those 33 by 1250s and 16 by 10s on this truck. Why would I do that? That's a great question. I have had an enormous amount of people complain about these wheels. Now, what I'm not saying is that I'm just gonna, oh, you know, take the wheels out of consideration, nobody gets them anymore, screw it, you know, whatever. I'm not gonna do that, because I know that some of you are not a bunch of whiny crybabies, and you actually like the wheels, or even if you don't like the wheels, you realize that having the wheels at least gives you the option to downgrade versus if you have a smaller set, you don't have the option because you can't really sell them and replace them with a set of forces. Okay, so I'm thinking about putting that set on this truck just so you guys can see it and have the option between the two. That's gonna be the new thing. You guys wanna have the option between the 33 by 1250 set up in the 16 by 10s or the forces. And for everybody that's wondering what wheels and tires I'm talking about swapping onto that truck as an option for you guys to see the difference. These ones. So these are 33 by 1250 Nitto MT tires. They're brand spanking new, literally sitting on this truck in the shop is the most wear they've ever had. They've never even been down the road and they're 16 by 10s, brand new wheels as well. Um, they're dusty, but once I get those cleaned up, I mean, they're a great looking set of wheels and tires. And I, I mean, that's not my preference for the OBS. I like the big ones more, but if somebody just would really rather have those on the truck ready to go, I'll give them to you. But then I'm just throwing the forces on this thing and putting a lift on it. If you're wanting to enter to win this 97 Power Stroke Plus $5,000 cash, right now every $1 is five entries to win and every order over $25 gets random amounts of cash, $5 bill minimum. So if you wanna get that deal, that is ending this Saturday along with 5X entries. And 5X entries and the $5 cash minimum is not going to come back. So if you wanna get that deal, you might as well because it's really just like a massive discount. That's our starting point. So it could be any amount, but that's where the starting point is. So it's a win-win. You get cash back, which is essentially like a huge discount that then you can use on something else. You get all the credit for those entries to win this truck, plus $5,000 cash, and you get products like hats and shirts and all that stuff. So it's a win-win-win. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. You guys are awesome. Last 48 hours to get those 5X entries and cash in every order, $25 or more. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.